We were really excited. I was 17 weeks pregnant, and we had an appointment at Renown. We were gonna find out the gender. My parents showed up. I was like, what are you guys doing here? And they get you up, they jelly you up, bellies out. The doctor's looking around, and everybody had said that I was having a boy. Everybody. And he's like, it's a boy, his hands are down there. And we're like, okay, great, we knew it was a boy. He's like, wait a second, those aren't his hands. The feeling totally went from being so happy and receiving to there's something wrong. And then he says it, there's something wrong with your baby. And your whole, everything you feel like you were so happy about just comes crashing down immediately. Your son has gastroschisis and none of us knew what it meant. His intestines are on the outside. They walked us out the back door so none of the other pregnant women would see me crying. It was really emotional. The worst thing you can do is Google it. The things that come up are foundations that raise money for children who have passed away. We did a two-hour anatomy scan that following Tuesday. They looked from his brain development to his nose to the bottoms of his little feet. And we got to see him and he was moving and perfectly healthy besides that. And it was such a huge relief and everybody was there again. When he was born, we got to touch his feet and his hands, but I didn't get to hold him. Dr. Holka was to perform the surgery. She was an amazing sense of reassurance. 10 days after surgery, we got to hold him and I felt so much joy. I can't thank the renowned medical staff enough. They helped me and my family so much. The nursing staff in the NICU are so much more than nurses. They're counselors, they're lactation consultants, they are de-escalators of high intensity situations. June 1st was his come home anniversary, <laughs> And so we celebrate that. Today, he's wild. I mean, he's a little, typical little boy. His favorite thing in the whole world is his bicycle. And it's terrifying right now because he's going down hills, going down ramps. He had no residual problems, and our medical team said he's one of the first that they've treated with no residual problems. His health is the number one thing to me. And I have that.